Hey what's going on YouTube, I have here some gaming headsets that are representative of the different tiers of gaming headsets you're going to find on the market. Headsets are a very difficult product to review because it is extremely subjective what type of headset is more comfortable for an individual and what type of sound somebody prefers. But what is not subjective is build quality and sound clarity aka low signal to noise ratio and low distortion. So I'm going to go over the different tiers of gaming headsets that I have. And this is an entry level headset, the Turtle Beach X12. I bought this originally to use with my Xbox 360 and these have been going strong for I would say over two years. And what makes this a gaming branded headset is that it has out of box connectivity with the Xbox 360 controller. It won't work with the Xbox One controller because it uses a different, con uh, different proprietary connector for headset input into the controller for chat. So it draws its power from the USB and it uses a 3.5 millimeter jack for the headset and it uses a 3.5 millimeter jack for the microphone. But this is as basic as it gets. It only uses stereo sound, it doesn't have surround virtualization, and the sound quality is what you would expect to get if you pay like, I don't know, these are $35 now. So if you have TV speakers, that's a zero out of 10 on the performance rating. And if you go to these on the performance meter, you're gonna go to about six out of 10. So that definitely helps you in sound intensive games like Call of Duty. Call of Duty has a lot of sound perks like Set Rep Pro or what's the ghost one called? I don't know, like awareness or something. It makes your enemy's footsteps a lot louder. So it'll definitely help in Call of Duty with Battlefield. Sometimes it'll help in close quarters, but when you're out in the open, it helps you with locating the sound of explosions and footsteps. But bass and mid-tones and highs are pretty balanced. So bang for buck wise, yes, this is pretty good for $35, but there is better and we're moving on to the Razer Kraken. The Razer Kraken is a PC gaming branded headset because it only uses, let me get the cable, it only uses a 3.5 millimeter connector. But what makes this a gaming headset is that it has a built-in microphone that you can retract. And the build quality, like I've mentioned previously, is pretty cool because you can put these in and the cushions are very cushy. You're gonna see me wearing these. And yeah, the headband is extremely extremely secure and all that jazz but in terms of sound quality for like $75 or however much these are right now you could get something a lot better if you get an audiophile music style branded headset then the sound quality and the clarity will be a lot better Razer headphones have been historically known to be bass intensive I definitely agree with that assessment these headsets will definitely draw out your bass but if you do want something that looks cool and has a very good build but you're okay with the um, lack of high-end sound reproduction then these headsets are for you if you're a console gamer and you want some of that um, chat functionality with your controller like for the Xbox One or the PS4 your SOL actually wait no with the PS4 um, does the PS4 controller have a mic input on the controller it might but I know it has a um, headphone input on the controller I'm not sure but anyways these are I really don't recommend Razer for audio, but if you do want a headset that looks cool, and if you watch Linus Tech Tips WAN Show a lot, they use these headsets because the WAN Show is sponsored in part by Razer for audio and Razer comms and all that jazz, but so I don't recommend Razer for audio at all. Um, these are the headsets that I am using right now, and this is the uh, Symphonized Magnum Wood headset, and the resonance on these headsets is fantastic. Wood is a very good material to resonate sound. It's what concert halls and recording studios are made out of. I really like how there's a break in the top headband because my head is really large and the uh, headband doesn't cut into the top of my head like some other headsets would. And these drivers, the sound reproduction is fantastic. Um, but it's really unrealistic because of how clearly you can hear all the sounds across the battlefield. Everything you hear, it sounds like you're in a concert hall or a recording studio. And that's great if you're into music, but if you're into gaming, um, that's great because you can determine where footsteps are coming from and gunshot sounds and you can hear the magazine click as somebody reloads really well and you can hear people shout outs and the sound is just incredibly crisp. But if you really want that, um, 
that open battlefield experience, you're going to need to use an equalizer on your PC or something. But the disadvantage of this headset is that there is no built-in microphone. So you have to use a separate microphone, which makes sense because if you're really into music and recording, you're definitely not going to be recording off of a um, built-in microphone. You're going to have your own recording solution. So with this, this costs less than the Razer Kraken and it annihilates it in terms of sound quality. And so if you want a bang, best uh, bang for buck sound quality headphone, you're definitely going to get a music or audiophile branded headphone. Those headphones will give you the best sound quality per dollar. And the final tier of gaming headset is the Astro A40. This comes bundled with the mix amp and this provides surround sound virtualization. This is wireless, so it costs about $15 more than the non-wireless mix amp. But with this, you're gonna have surround sound virtualization, 7.1 surround, so you can not only get a front and back perception of where the enemies are and a left and right perception of where the enemies are, you're gonna get like northeast and northwest and southeast and southwest and all the cardinal directions and ordinal directions. So with this, the sound quality I don't think is as good as the symphonized headphones. And even though like, you know, just the headset themselves, are priced a lot higher. They, it's just like, you know, the audio file headphones, the dollar per sound quality just cannot be beat. But the build quality of these Astro headphones is very good. You have very, very cushy ear, um, ear muff things. I, oh man, I can't think right now. I've been talking straight for several minutes. Um, you have very cushy ear cups and these are circumaural and if you're really into customizing your headsets you can use the um, the magnetized uh, customized tags that you can order from the Astro website. These are gaming branded so you will have a built-in microphone. You can use the boom mic or the built-in inline mic and these have a quick disconnect. So the sound, the, uh, the build quality of the Astro A40 is fantastic. The virtualization is there and that's great for console gamers who can't put a sound card into their build. PC gamers can use software or a sound card solution to get surround sound virtualization, but with console gamers, your only solution for surround sound virtualization is a mix amp. Now, um, these have been the MLG mainstay headset for years. Turtle Beach took over the MLG contract, and Turtle Beach high-end stuff is very hit or miss. They have surround sound virtualization built into their integrated sound card, but the reviews for the Turtle Beach high-end headset have been very mixed compared to the Astro headsets. Now, like, you know, the Astro headsets, everybody that I know who have used Astro headsets are absolutely enamored with them and have given Astro headsets their highest recommendation. But, you know, these are pricey. You're not going to get the same audio quality as the symphonized uh, music headphones. But if you are a console gamer and you are looking for the best possible performance out-of-box headsets, then I would definitely recommend an Astro kit with the Mix Amp. So remember that uh, analogy I had where TV speakers were 0 out of 10 and the Turtle Beach entry level headsets were like a 6 out of 10. The Astros are a 10 out of 10 in terms of performance and helping you game. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I helped you make a, a um, informed headset purchase decision. Uh, I cannot talk right now. My throat is dead. I've been talking for like six minutes straight without stopping. So thank you very much for watching. My name is David. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you next video.